It's another concerning development doctors are closely monitoring and warning parents about tonight. Kids having trouble moving their arms and legs weeks after recovering from enterovirus D68. It's the latest development the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is investigating after reports that nine children in Colorado experienced muscle weakness or paralysis. Four of them tested positive for enterovirus D68. It looks as if there is some areas of the spinal cord that has gotten affected uh, and they think it's possibly linked to this virus. Doctors say it could take a week before test results confirm a link. Also unclear is how long the paralysis lasts or whether it causes any permanent damage to the nervous system. Dr. Prashant Mahajan of Children's Hospital in Detroit says at least three patients are hospitalized here with D68, none of whom have complained yet about paralysis. All of them came in with the characteristic breathing problems. They complain of some chest pain, body aches, difficulty breathing and wheezing. Dr. Mahajan says a number of respiratory cases have gone down in the last week. They're now looking out for similar reports of paralysis. I believe that if there are more cases across the country, we will get a better sense as these cases progress how this illness uh, performs. In the meantime, parents should be vigilant, wash hands often, and avoid contact with anyone who could be carrying the virus. Those are the common sense precautions that everyone should be taking anyway. Now, before we become too alarmed, doctors are reminding us that children with a history of asthma are most susceptible to this form of enterovirus and that most people won't display these severe symptoms. In Detroit, Jane Park, The Now Detroit.